Lieutenant Hampson, sir. training in the care and use of the gas mask? This is the life. Laying out here in the sunshine with a chirping of the blue boys, the hum of the bees, and the smell of new moon hay, and apple blossoms, and fly paper. <laughs> fly paper?! No mask. No, you cared. Is you want to actually take your carrier and check that you have all the parts and pieces in your mask. In the big main section, you should have your mask with the face form inside. In your side pocket, you should have your inspection tag, your waterproof bag, and your reference cards. The crescent shaped pocket on the side is an optional pocket for you to store your outsert lens cover and the soft scratch proof bag. You want to take out your face form and put it to the side, you don't want to lose that. And we're going to have a system, I usually like to start from outside, working my way in, and from top to bottom, but you can do whatever you like, that makes you comfortable. I'm going to check the head harness. These are brand new masks, so there shouldn't be any problems with them, but you want to check to make sure that you have your quick donning assist tab. You want to check the elasticity of all of the straps on the sides. And you want to check the top to make sure that your Velcro is still nice and strong and that it'll stick. Moving on to the front, you can go ahead and take your outsert lens off and hold it up just to check it to make sure that there are no scratches and that you can see through it. And place that to the side. Go ahead and twist and take off your filters. We're going to save these for last. And you have the front of your maps. You want to check the actual lens itself to make sure that it is not scratched. And you want to go around the perimeter of the lens to make sure that there is no separation, no cracks, and no dry rotting of the rubber. Moving forward, the front voice emitter is here and there's a little door that opens. You want to open the door. And just to check that the hinge is still there, that there's no dirt or debris, and you can close that door back. Checking the external drinking tube, unplug it, unwrap it, and just make sure that it is secure to the mask and that the drink tube itself is nice and soft and pliable. Then you can go ahead and plug that back in to keep it out of the way. And give your lever a check just to make sure that it goes smoothly up and down. Finally, the last piece on the outside are your valves. You just want to make sure that you do have one on each side. 
and that they're not curled up, dry rotted, or missing. Peel them back just to make sure that there's no debris or dirt in there. And then finally you have your integrated bib for your chin that replaces the second skin. You just want to make sure that there are no tears, rips, or cracks. And that is the outside of your mask. To the inside of your mask, you want to loosen your bottom straps all the way to give you some extra room. You go ahead and flip your harness over so that you can have access to the inside of your mask. On the inside, you want to check around where the face lens is for the same thing that you were looking for on the outside, that there's no cracks, no tears, or any separation or dry rot. Go ahead and peel this down where the chin cup goes so that you can have access to the nose piece inside. And you want to give a gentle tug on that to make sure it's nice and secure and it's not going anywhere. And you can see your inside drinking tube. You want to move the lever on the outside just to make sure that it actively engages your drinking tube to put it in the up position to drink and then out of the way when you're done with it. You want to gently tug on that drinking tube to make sure it does not come off and go ahead and give it a squeeze to make sure there's nothing clogging the inside of the tube. And that's the inside of your mask. We're going to check our filters. All of your filters should be marked training only and these are brand new filters but in the real world you will get a brand new one in a sealed case. Basically for this, you just want to make sure that your tabs work and they're not broken off and that the back filter window is still white. If it turns blue, that means it's bad and that you need a new filter. But since these are training only, it doesn't matter for right now. Put your filters back on your mask. The easiest way to do this is there is a tab on your filter and there are two separate tabs on your mask. One with one dash and one with two. The easiest way to put your filter back on is to line up the one tab on your filter to the number two on your mask, a little twist, and then turn it to one. You'll hear it click into place and you can pull on it to make sure that it doesn't come off and that's how you know your filter is on. So again for the other side, you line up your one on your filter to your two on your mask, get it seated and click it into place. Pull on it to check that it's not going anywhere. You also want to put your face piece cover back on by pushing them into the tabs and making sure that they're firmly seated in place. This protects the actual lens of the mask from scratching and it's a lot easier to place one of these than to replace your whole mask. Of your mask inspection is going to check your drink tube assembly for any leaks. What you want to do is go ahead and unplug your external drinking tube and then you are going to have to don your mask to get at the internal drinking tube. When you do this, flip your mask over into the ready position. You'll put your chin in the chin cup first, pull your harness over, flip your lever up to drink and what you want to do is you want to blow firmly into your drinking tube and feel for resistance. Then you want to suck through like sucking through a straw and check for resistance. If you do not feel resistance, that means you have a leak. and my mask has no leaks in my drinking tube. After you're done inspecting your mask, you want to make sure that your harness is not flipped over the face piece for long-term storage. You're going to put the face blank back inside of the mask and just lay your harness in the mask like this for long-term storage. So it should look like your face piece is wearing your mask. You will put this back into your mask carrier and firmly secure with your Velcro to keep it contained. Now that you've updated your mask, you will update your inspection tag. This is your official Air Force Form 1574. The front part, you don't have to worry about. All we're worried about is the back. So on the back, what you're going to do, you're going to cross through this previous date, and you're going to put today's date, 
your initials in the middle column, and then the next inspection date, which is six months out from now. want to inspect your waterproof bag. So open it up and take it out, unfold it. You want to check that it's complete, the seams are not ripped, and in here you've got your handy government rubber bands. Open this up, you should have three. If you're missing any, you can get extra pieces from supply. So once I've checked this out, you can package it back up. Fold it back up nice and neat. Back in its bag. And seal it back up. You have your inspection cards at any time if you forget what to do or you have a question about how to put your mask on, how to clean it, how to inspect it. You've got a handy little guide right here that will walk you through this process in a lot greater detail than what we've done today. It also has a troubleshooting guide in the back in case you're having problems breathing or drinking with your mask. You want to make sure you have this in your carrier and if you're missing this please go to supply to get one. The last piece is your cleaning cloth and it's also a bag for your outsert lens cover. You need this in your mask. If you lose it, supply will charge you and buy you a new one. done inspecting, please make sure you return all your parts and pieces back into your carrier. So my inspection tag goes back in the side pocket, my reference cards, my waterproof bag, and the cleaning cloth we're going to put in this side crescent shape pocket just so that I know where it is next time I need it. So you've just inspected your mask. You should have updated your tag and you're good to go for another six months because we're in a peacetime setting. If this was a wartime setting, we would do this every seven days. Thank you for inspecting your mask with me. Have a great Air Force day.